topic. Yeah, that well, we gotta absolutely. we gotta get to the coronavirus. Yeah, we do want to talk coronavirus oh, yes. and the headlines. So that's where we're always about the headlines. So here. as an old man, as the old man of the group, I'm probably as old as both of you put together. Uh, every decade we've had, or every generation we've had, the Earth-ending event. You know, acid rain, uh, bird flu, nuclear war climate i mean just uh, every generation there's something that is guaranteed we're going to die from this one um but now it seems to have accelerated to every year you know this year it's coronavirus and <clears throat> isn't I, i'm it, it's not like the common cold a coronavirus is true so a coronavirus it's not the coronavirus this is just a strain of a well, virus. It's, it's it's a strain of coronavirus that uh, uh, so there are, I think six to nine strains and uh, one of them several do affect humans but this is not the one that affects humans or or, or did initially so there's a lot of these uh, uh, what we call zoonotic uh, uh, viruses uh, and, uh, and they stick jump with the zoo. they jump <laughs> from animal to uh, human oh there's enough interaction between the human and the virus from the animal because you know they're always in contact with the animal the person. At some over hundreds of years, at some point, that virus changes its genetics enough to be able to make that jump from from animal to human. So are you trying to be? And a, so is this the a biggest, vegan message? To give you the biggest example is HIV. Okay. HIV is yeah. is the biggest one. Someone before. ate a monkey, right? Is that what that was? They ate a monkey. There was yeah, a well, monkey it, well, was involved. Yeah. So so uh, simian SIV, simian immunovirus, whatever SIV was the virus that jumped and morphed to HIV to the uh, to people, mm -hmm. and it was the, the Thought is constant contact of monkeys and people, whether it's uh, eating them, whether it's uh, keeping them as pets or whatever yeah. it is. And so this coronavirus, either bats or snakes, it seems to have jumped. And so the problem Freaking is our, our 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 bodies don't understand what's going on. They hey, it's a, so the coronavirus that we know that our bodies understand is the common cold. Uh, okay. But this one seems to... That's do, why the symptoms seem normal for two weeks. Exactly. Dry cough, cold, yeah. some, some malaise, some flu-like symptoms, and then... Uh, uh, well, hell, I've had that around. for 12 years now. Yeah. So. No, the problem, again, is, uh, is, is sure, it's probably not going to be as bad as they like to are making it out. Uh, if there is a 2% uh, lethality rate, that's actually pretty big. Cause if yeah, you think that's about, comparable to Spanish flu. Yes, and so that's the other one that was the big uh, uh, jump. Uh, with Spanish flu, so this if this ends up being big, would be the third one that we know of that has made a huge jump and and can do damage. Now the we can, I I don't like I don't like either side of what's going on right now, and the reason is we don't know. Mm -hmm. The virus has been out since December. We've only tested we've tested less than a thousand here in this country. South Korea is testing ten thousand a day, so. So there is a, a large, I, I feel there is a lot of it already here. But again, it seems to be mild mostly. So I don't think most when people say, are going to get sick. When you say mild, do you mean like? Flu-like symptoms. But young people are not going to. Uh, non-fatal. Non-fatal. Okay. Uh, now, if you're if you're on oxygen, if you're oxygen dependent, you have end-stage COPD, you have end-stage congestive heart failure. Uh, unfortunately, my population, where the population and that's why my serve, mom is bubble wrapping. She's got COPD yes. on oxygen, okay. so that she's bubble wrapping herself. That is concerning yeah. because that that is uh, the common cold can take someone out. The flu mm -hmm. virus, I mean, obviously, flu can take anybody out, but uh, those things are going to be way more uh, aggressive, lethal, hard to handle with somebody whose lungs are more finicky, who got fluid build up in their lungs. Who, who just can't handle it so <clears throat> well do you feel like it's kind of silly that we always have to remind each other to wash your hands i do but and if it, but and that's if it the only up, message i'm hearing today that's kind of consistent among the, across the board even like, we painted the be your be someone thing or yeah, 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 yeah i mean it, it is a it, it, washing your hands is the not with purell but actually not with soap purell. and water soap and water please don't use it Pharrell's going to stop working at some point. Soap and water, soap and water, soap and water. And don't forget that Dove is 99 and 44 one hundredths pure. What? All right. The old commercial is Dove. The stuff in there. They didn't say pure what. It was just 99.44. <laughs> okay, pure love? I don't know. It was I Dove. It. it makes me break out in a rash. So listener Brett had a question. So we're, we're <laughs> we got skirting the line minutes. between, uh, you, you know, like from your – professional medical opinion he says i'm curious if dr jamal thinks that the coronavirus epidemic uh, will cause the cdc to go back to actually working to control diseases and not trying to regulate behavior such as smoking weapons use etc so what, well, do you, what are your that's a loaded question but basically i think the cdc the who and all these organizations need to uh, have some autonomy to do what they need to do 
and not have any government people uh, telling them what to do and because we're dependent on them. Uh, all my information, I only go to the CDC to look for information for these things. I do not read the Facebook posts of, you know, somebody I knew in high school who's who now has seems to have a medical degree in virology. So you don't tune into Dr. Uh, Phil to find out. Dr. Phil latest. is not the person. He oh, has okay. nice mugs and all that, but otherwise I would not go to Dr. Phil. Okay. To, and the problem is this, again, is we don't know the numbers here. It, it could end up just being a seasonal thing, but again, it could be a seasonal thing like the flu. And we know the flu kills tens of thousands of people in this country. So then we're adding another virus every year, possibly that's going to kill tens of thousands of people every year. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Another thing, these Outbreaks are happening every year on a new virus, it seems. The reason is we're a global community now, and and one of these is eventually going to be the one. I mean, I, I, I personally think that. I don't think the coronavirus is going to be it, but there will be one. Look at Zika. Zika is a big deal. No one talks about it. It doesn't mean it's gone. It doesn't mean it well, went yeah, away. It's, it's, it's still a squirrel there. mentality in the media. Squirrel, so, over here. So no one traveled when Zika was the, the big, big topic. Yeah. Guess what? Zika still causes microcephaly, causes babies with these... With big heads. Yeah, big the, heads. sorry, macrocephaly. I apologize. These really, really big heads. You think that Zika stopped causing that because the media stopped talking about it? Right. But did everybody go back to traveling? Yes. So that is now... It is an endemic situation in, in South America, Zika. And we don't talk about it anymore because it's not a big deal. It's not the flavor du jour, mm -hmm. the virus du jour. Yeah. But it's still so I, I that's my issue with all these is as soon as it goes away, the, the hype, the viruses will be here to stay. And so they will cause damage. And yeah, 2 percent. But if you have a friend or family that falls in that 2 percent, that's the 2 percent you're only part of. That's a big deal. And I want to do one last follow up because I know we have to go because go. I think this is for like people who don't know better. Uh, my mother thinks that antibiotics cure everything in the in the universe. And of course, I'm I'm concerned on the other end about how antibiotics pass out like candy that you can't build up. So with the virus, antibiotics do something, nothing. Uh, they're going to do nothing now. Most most everything is supportive care, but I will tell you, uh, uh, likely that they are receiving antibiotics if they do have the pneumonias. Like the, the complications the reason, from the, the virus. The reason is because that uh, they would have to. Uh, in, it would it would be stupid not to start them in on by antibiotics first if they have the pneumonia until you check their sputum cultures to make sure that they are not growing any bugs, uh, because you can easily have. I see. I do pediatrics as well, mm -hmm. so I do both pediatrics and adults, and I saw a lot of flu pneumonias when flu was you know really like peak season this year. A lot of kids had flu and pneumonia, and they got antibiotics because at some point we, we don't know if it's viral pneumonia or if it's a superimposed, meaning just a tough luck. You have the bacterial pneumonia on top of having the flu. So if it's straight up coronavirus Sounds symptoms, like it house. seems presumptive coronavirus, but you don't have that flu, that any kind of infiltrate or, or pneumonia that you can see on an x-ray, supportive care only. You do not need antibiotics. Okay. Now, if you're being sick enough to be admitted to the hospital, you likely what? will receive antibiotics. Uh, uh, but uh, that's going to be doctor dependent. Awesome. Well, thank you. Boys so and girls, much, we've been listening to uh, Dr. Jamal Rahimi, MD. Yeah, that's right. I, I went redundant there. But he's been awesome. He's the inventor of the Suture Buddy, uh, available at Amazon. Uh, actually, we, we we stopped selling on Amazon, on our direct website, SutureBuddy.com. SutureBuddy.com. Yeah, all those this black so markets. Cool. I want to get one. Who's Seriously, your, I'm going to go buddy, buy Suture one. Suture Buddy. So uh, you've been listening to Dixon Skipping in the Morning. Stay tuned. There's more shows coming yeah, on. Yeah, we're going to be here on Wednesday with Jay Silberg. I think he's coming in at 9 o'clock. Awesome. Two so hours we'll of great conversation him. with